Hello you guys, welcome to my channel, thanks for stopping by. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Ella. I used to be a professional makeup artist for many many years, then I became a mommy and decided to create this channel to stay connected to all things beauty, skincare and makeup. In this series, K-Beauty in the House, I review popular Korean brands, makeup, skincare mostly. So if that sounds like you tune, please subscribe, hit the notification bell button so you don't miss when I upload next. So you guys, before I start, uh, I want to comment on my eyebrows. They look wacky. It's because I'm trying on this new product where is a brow freeze by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's failing me miserably. Um, one brow stays up and no matter what I do with this one, it just won't. It just goes down no matter what I do. So forgive my eyebrows. I'm in the process of filming that as well. I'm doing like a wear test right now. I'll link the video up here. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a very nice, affordable, popular Korean brand called Frutia. I've tried a few products and I'm ready to tell you what I love, what I don't love, uh, what's worth the money, what you can actually skip. So I'm going to start with this. This is the um, exfoliating anti-sebum pads. So the whole brand is based on um, having every product based on a, a fruit ex extracts and that's what you will find as a first ingredient. That's what um, made me interested in the brand because it's so affordable yet the ingredient list is pretty impressive and it's never water as the first ingredient. So they have collections by color. So I tried um, mostly the green one which is pore minimizing collection. So I've tried their serum and the pads. So this is probably one of my favorite products from the whole brand, from the whole line. Um, these are mild peeling pads. They're quite large, so they have ribbed side and then the flat side. You could do your entire face, you could do your neck and your chest. They're beautiful and they work really well. So what it does, this is basically a mild BHA and AHA exfoliant. It will remove um, residue of makeup, it will remove dead skin cells, oil, so on. But they're gentle enough that you can use this every day. And I've uh, noticed um, a difference when I don't use them. I get the pimples around my lips straight away. So uh, I really love this product. My husband has been using them for a year. I think he can't live without them. You can get um, you get 70 pads in this tub. So this whole line, the green grape line, is designed to control um, sebum production, minimize the size of your pores, and this product actually contains salicylic acid, which is an uh, BHA acid that works on the surface and helps to clean out uh, your pores. It also contains tannin acid, which is a substance naturally contained in the grape skin of or outer parts of grape that helps to control sebum. So, like I said, if you are extra sensitive, you might want to use the other side of the pad, the one that's not like textured. But I find this uh, very important as a last step in my cleansing. I will do like a cleansing balm, then I'll wash my face if we're talking about taking off the makeup, and then I'll do the pads afterwards. But um, very important to remember if you're using any kind of acids, salicylic acid, glycolic acid, uh, lactic acid, any acid on your skin, you have to remember to wear the sunscreen. I live in Los Angeles, sun here is crazy, so I don't leave the house without sunscreen. So these are probably, hands down, my favorite uh, products out of the everything that I tried. I didn't try the entire line, but the next product, I'm going to insert the little video of me using it, is the Green uh, Grape Serum. The next product I discovered is also by Frutia. Frutia is a, such a cute um, line. 
everything there is uh, fruit extract based. So this is a green grape pore control serum. You would think like you age, why do you need to worry about your pores? No, it's actually the opposite. And that's what I'm realizing slowly. Uh, anyways, the first ingredient here is um, green grape extract. So that's what you're paying for. And it's not even that expensive, 81% uh, green grape extract. I take a few pumps. So when you're using BHA and e AHA exfoliants, it is very important to hydrate and hydrate properly. If you don't, your skin is gonna react. Oh, all the sebum is gone. Let me make some more. Let me create some more sebum. So that's what happens. So you have to layer your moisturizing uh, ingredients, your moisturizing products, in order for your skin to be thoroughly nourished while the pores are being cleansed and exfoliated. So you don't have uh, the exfoliating process backfire on you and you get more sebum. So this guy also helps control sebum production, but it's also so hydrating. I love the light scent of grape on of this. As you can see, I use this all summer. I started using it in the summer. That serum I used all throughout the summer last year, and it helped me tremendously when we spent two months in the tropics uh, controlling the oil because I was always sweating. I was always hot. I'm really hot right now as well. I can't put the air conditioner because it makes um, a lot of noise, but yes. So it's the same type of situation. Uh, the first ingredient is the green grape extract and it helps to control the oil production. It makes the skin hydrated, but um, fresh and clean at the same time. I actually miss that serum and now that we are coming towards the summer, I will probably purchase that again. Now, let's move on to the products that I didn't enjoy that much. So this guy is from another um, line, the pomegranate uh, line, which is moisturizing line. And uh, this sounded so promising, it's called Cream in Mist. So basically, it's a very lightweight, um, creamy, misty kind of thing, a moisturizer that you can spray on. I thought, oh my gosh, that's like, that's what I need for the winter. But in honestly, uh, I didn't feel it being that uh, hydrating. And on top of it, I didn't like the spray. The spray would spray it in blotches. It's finished now, but I won't repurchase this. The pomegranate line, everything is designed for dehydrated or dry skin. But honestly, this is also plastic, I thought it would be glass, um, not that I want it to be, but it just didn't, didn't fulfill my moisturizing fantasy, let's put it that way. The next product I tried is their cleanser. So this one is called My Orchard Mochi Cleansing Foam, and this one is with passion fruit extract. Um, so what this is telling you it's going to be deep cleansing while uh, with dense micro bubbles like jelly completely removes non not only makeup residue but also impurities passion fruit extract which is rich in better car carotene ingredients smooths a uh, rough skin texture honestly um, you need very tiny bit of it to actually foam up but i didn't feel any like micro bubbles it feels like a regular foaming cleanser. It is very gentle, I'll give you that. Uh, it does clean, but I didn't feel that it's anything special. Uh, probably won't be repurchasing this either. So those are the products I tried from Fruitia so far. I'll probably try more stuff from the green line, the green grape line. That's how I discovered it. Another friend of mine actually recommended the green grape serum and I loved it and the pants, uh, this is like the bomb. Um, I'm gonna put links down below to yesstyle.com and to Amazon, they're both my affiliate links, so if you guys purchase anything through my links, I get a small commission. So that's all, I just wanted to share with you guys what I've tried so far from the brand. Comment down below if you tried other products from Fruitia that you really, really love. Uh, do recommend it to me because 
I'm a skincare junkie. I'm forever looking for the next best thing. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.